Okay, let's do this. Okay, it's so a doctor's office. She has a mental problem. They're really bad. That's not what she said. All day, plus she's super depressed. Super depressed. Seriously, is it her mom? So she said, 告诉她我喘不过气，喉咙后面好像被火烧。Don't lie to the doctor, kid. She looks like she's got a cold. She said, "Super depressed." She heard that birth control pills can make her feel better. Birth control pills? Seriously? She said, 咳嗽药吃了没效 She's not really enunciating though. 咳嗽药吃了没效 But I think it's perfect here because she said her throat is burning and she took cough medicine, so she probably have got a cold, which is kind of obvious from how she looks here. So when you got a cold or cried a lot, you you get stuffed nose and. You probably can't talk like normal, so I think it just fits this scene. She wants birth control pills for her PMS. I guess. Such、so、teenager behavior. Her mom's nostrils and the tissue she's got conveniently stashed in her wristband. I'd say her problem is more likely a URI than a PMS. A URI? Of a respiratory infection, a cold. I don't think so. I also think she's got a problem with the SAC. SAC. Thanks for playing, stupid American child. <laughs> Not the sharpest chopstick in the drawer, is she? Nali, <laughs> Nali. Oh, so she thought that was a compliment. In Mandarin, when you get compliments, and if you want to sound humble, you can say Nali, Nali, which basically means Nah, but in a polite way. But still, I'd say it's quite old-fashioned. Younger generations don't really say this anymore. I haven't heard it in ages. I guess some people still say it. It depends on your personality and whom you're interacting with. That sort of things you can still say if you want, though. And again, it just fits the scene here. Oh, they're back. Different clothes. 我吃了药更不舒服，怪怪的 She said, 我吃了药更不舒服，怪怪的 Very useful expression we can learn here. 不舒服 It means uncomfortable. In English, when you feel kind of ill, you might say, "I don't feel so good. I don't feel well." But in Chinese, if you just translate this and say, "我感觉不好 people are going to be confused. They don't know what you mean. Instead, we would say, "我不太舒服，我不太舒服 or "我有点不舒服。我有点不舒服 And if you don't look good, people come check on you. They may ask you. 你哪里不舒服吗 ？In what way are you feeling sick? What's troubling you? 你哪里不舒服吗？你哪里不舒服吗 ？You can reply like 我头疼，我头疼，我肚子疼，我肚子疼，我大姨妈来了，我痛经。Another very small thing, but I hope you have noticed. She said 怪怪的，怪怪的。Why means weird or strange. Say the adjective twice and then add the after it. It's actually a very common way to describe things. It doesn't really change the meaning of anything. It just adds some flavor to your speech. Let me show you. He 个子高，他个子高高的，他头发长，他头发长长的。我的脸圆，我的脸圆圆的。这个糖酸。这个糖酸酸的 Lots of people who are learning Chinese won't notice these small differences. That's also why when you're speaking Chinese or any other foreign language you're learning, what you say is correct, but it just sounds like something's missing. It's the details. Anyways, let's go on. The decongestants, but she's not getting better. She also says, "What?" Oh yeah, her boobs feel swollen. 她说胸是胀胀的 See. 胀胀的 but there's no need to say 是 just 胸胀胀的 is fine. Her boobs are bigger. How?、Oh. Wrong medicine. How could you get them mixed up? They come in a little wheel. They don't look anything like decongestants. Oh God! The cashier put them both in the same bag. I thought I'd give her the right ones. 她说什么不对劲了 She said, "He said something is wrong." It means something is wrong. He said he opened the wrong medicine for you. Oh, this is a direct translation of the English line. 
他说他开了错药给你。He said he prescribed you the wrong medication. But the proper sentence order in Chinese would be: 他说他开错药给你了。他说他开错药给你了。I can still understand what she's trying to say, though. So not a big deal. No, you gave her the wrong pills. You speak. He can understand. I can count to ten. Has to go to the bathroom and. Gong Xi, you 快当祖母了。Oh, he said. 恭喜你，快当祖母了。His pronunciation is not bad at all. He said he could only count to ten and ask to go to the bathroom in Mandarin. So this is pretty good. He did make a mistake, but it makes sense in this scene because he's not supposed to know Mandarin that well. 祖母 is the formal word to refer to grandmother on dad's side, not on mom's side. The formal word for grandmother on mom's side is. 外祖母 These are formal words not used in spoken Chinese, so the line should be 恭喜你快当外婆了 Or in some parts of northern China, 恭喜你快当姥姥了 If you're interested in Chinese family tree, click this video here to learn more about how we call our family in Mandarin and in Cantonese. I'm not pregnant. We we haven't even done it yet. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone now. Okay, I like this little mistake here. The mother was supposed to say, "He is talking about what?" What's he talking about? But she kind of stuttered and said, "He is talking about what?" What's he doing talking about? He is talking about what? What's he doing talking about? He is talking about what? What's he doing talking about? I think that was a mistake, but the director didn't say cut, so she just went with it, and it's even better. Makes her sound even more worried. And then her daughter said, "I don't know. I don't know." Then she said, "You are not pregnant. Are you pregnant?" 怀孕 pregnant. Then her daughter said, "I'm not." Sure, you got a lot to talk about. 那么为什么他说我要坏的着魔？不是，不是，不是，不是。我要叫主母了。哦，你脸又红了，你是不是漂亮 ？Oh, it's funny. The mom said, 那为什么他说我快要当祖母了？" The daughter said, 我不知道，不是，不是，不是。The mom said, 哦，你脸红了，你是不是骗我 ？Do people blush when lying? I never noticed that, but I did notice another thing. I think the actress who played the mother might be a Cantonese speaker, because when she's trying to say 祖母 she said 祖母 which is closer to its Cantonese pronunciation. And when she's trying to say 脸红 she said 脸红 because in Cantonese it's 面红 Let's ask Lee. 祖母用粤语怎么讲？妈妈。不是，就是直接翻译祖母这两个字。祖母。哦，对，还有。脸红用粤语怎么讲？脸红。Okay, so much for today's video. Hope you guys learned something new today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.